What is going on, everybody? Welcome back. Um, it is feeling a, like a lot of love in the air. Yeah, you feel I'm feeling it? a lot of love, man. Do you I smell really... it? You smell what's cooking? Love. That's what that is. Oh, that's what that is? Yeah. Okay. It's maybe, your heart. Maybe it's, <laughs> it's on fire. Oh, that's great. It's going to burn <laughs> out of my chest. But we really have like a lot of the people uh, interacting on the YouTube channel as well as social media on Instagram. It's pretty awesome. Definitely feeling the love. I'm going to be annoying for a second. I am going to be annoying for a second. I really wish I wasn't going to be this guy to really to make us feel even more love. Hit the subscribe button. That's it. That's all I'm going to say. That's it. We're done. Yeah, We're not going to talk about you it don't even Rip need it off hit, like a band -aid. You don't even need to hit the like button. Just just hit the sub. Oh, we don't even care about the like. Just, so much just, love. Just hit the subs. Yeah. My, my chest would explode with, with love. <laughs> but I do have the Kapowski. All right, I, I saw that. I'm like, that's a nice shirt. I know every guy was like their first crush was well, the Pink Power Ranger. Every they're all, oh, every guy's first crush uh, or Topanga from Boy Meets World. I never watched that. So I don't know. Tiffany, Amber, Peace. <laughs> Do you? I, I, I kind of. I've been noticing a lot more people are saying it now, especially like on other shows and stuff like that, of how like they think Valentine's Day is kind of like. I wouldn't say like a waste holiday, but more of like a made up holiday sort of thing. Like as people, opposed to all the other holidays that naturally occur in the wild. Right. Yeah, um, no, uh, wait, hold on. There's love that happens in the wild. Yeah, I'm but saying, there are the, I'm, I'm talking about holidays. I'm just saying, like, every holiday is a made-up holiday based on something. I don't know. I'm just, like, with Valentine's Day, like, as now as I'm older, I'm just, like, you know. Oh, it's a holiday for sure. Yeah, it's a cash technically, grab. Technically, shouldn't it nice. be, like, every, like, if you're with somebody, shouldn't technically, like, every day be Valentine's Day? Like, like, if you look up the definition of Valentine's Day, like, isn't that sort of like an everyday I mean, the, but, type but thing? But be realistic about it. Like, is every day really the greatest day that you're showering everybody with all... Yeah, you may... And, and it may end up on Valentine's Day. Like, that shit sucks, too. It's like me with my birthday. I'm not big on celebrating my birthday. Right. I'm not, I'm not either. Yeah. I used to be, but not anymore. Celebrating mine or yours? Yours. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am feeling so much love in this room right now. But, but you know what? I've been in a relationship now for almost a year and a month. On Valentine's Day, it'll be a year and a month. Mm. Mm. Always, just, you always got to throw it in my face. I get it. Something to be said about, I get it. hey, bro, I, I run by it. myself for a long time. <laughs> I just never really... Okay, like, so, like, remember, like, when we were back in school, like, for Valentine's Day... Um, you know, they would make you, I don't know if your school ever did or anything, but I'm sure that, you know, for Valentine's Day, it was like a whole school day event. Oh, yeah. And you would have to go and get cards for everybody in your class. It had to be everyone. And, yeah, it and had then you be. had to make, Can't like... leave anyone out. Exactly. Had to make, like, a little folder so, like, everybody... I mean, yeah, a mailbox. Desk. Yeah. I made a little mailbox. Yeah. Of, yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Bro, like... I would uh, I would be like writing kids' names down, and I was like, "Shit, dude, I I don't remember that kid's name." So I just repeat the name like a couple times. I was like, hated it, giving it to like, I mean, you would be, you'd be seven, eight years old, but there's like, you know, and it's the weird social pressures and right? the whole thing around Valentine's Day right? about people liking each other and kissy kissy, you know, lovey dovey, and you have to give one to like, you know, someone you don't really like, right? You know. But now it's like, and then you get one from them, and it's like glowing, and you're like, oh jeez, <laughs> fuck. And then the one that really secretly likes you, you yeah, can tell, oh. put, puts like a lot of hearts and like a lot of emphasis in the card or around your name or something to give you hints. And if you're like me, that's really bad at hints, you're just like, oh, okay, well she did us some extra, uh, you know, credit or whatever. I don't fucking know. Well, just like you know, doing like ex extra like artwork or. You oh, know, I would Valentine's notice Day. that because I noticed what I put out was probably just like. Mm, you know. Yeah, I, but well, theirs is like. I'm very bad at reading signs. Like I really, I have to have like verification that you like me in order for me to get it. Other than that, oh, all the, on, that. on the sign signals and the I I can't. Because I needed right that even me. with Alexis. Like, you brought it up. Because we were talking, and she worked where we did, and when she looked back, you and I were talking, and she, like, looked back at us, and I was like, hey, man, she's checking you out. And you're like, no, bro, she's checking you out. I'm like, get the fuck out of here, man. Like, I ain't good. Bro, you should go for it, man. Like, 
if any of us, dude, you should. That's what I'm saying. Why not? And other That's people were putting that, you know, they were mentioning it to me, and I was like, oh, yeah, it's that one. Like, no, you guys yeah. are trying to make me look like a fool. Like, I'm going to go up to this per- person, and they're going to, like, you know, contact HR. Like, this, like, this <laughs> that, guy. That like is, I've never said a word is, to him. Look, and, nowadays, that is one of my biggest fears. Bro, so fears. I, yeah. That's like, so I get what you mean on yeah. the confirmation thing, but it was an older woman and that's, you know, probably like, you know, late 60s, early 70s that, yeah. that worked in the front of the store that was saying, like, you know, do you have a girlfriend or anything like that? Right. I was like, you're trying to set me up with your granddaughter. Like, that's what's going on here. <laughs> right. And I'm like, no, I don't have a girlfriend. Or, do you date? And I'm like, well, I mean, yeah, I guess. I just, you know, I'm by myself. Right. I'll entertain people. But, like, date, like, there's a lot more to be said about if I'm going to solidify that yeah. kind of a commitment with somebody. And I was like, yeah, well, why? And she's like, well, there's, she's like, I'm not supposed to say anything. And then she pointed her out. And I'm like. The blonde over there? She's like, yeah. That was confirmation. Right. Like, this lady's not going to mess with me. Yeah. And I'm like, all right, now I got to go for it. And yeah. I'll thank her forever. For that. Right. <laughs> you know, that was the push. That yeah, was but, the push. But, but you needed like, confirmation. I, I, like, you couldn't right. get. And it needed to be from what I would consider a credible source. Right. Yeah, exactly. You telling it to me is kind of like, mm, let's see if I can Well, nice. especially back then. He's going to eat shit and land on his face. Well, not just that, but back then, you didn't, like, know me as well. So, like, now if I told you, it would have more, oh, like, yeah, credibility. Sure. I'd be like, well, be, like, well said it, so. But then, like, probably, back then, yeah. you know, you didn't know if I was, like, pulling a rib on you or something. You're just like, oh, dude, this guy's fucking with me. Yeah. But I'm kind of, I'm in the same boat, like, just as I got and older i just need more verification before i you know you gotta know make, it's a sure thing yeah you don't like to just you know go out and see what happens no, no. not no not at all no no right. but so and then you know now as we're older i feel like it's more it's more pressure on us to like go all out on valentine's day do something special you got to show how much you care i feel like there's more pressure on us dudes than you know now now more than ever because like you know as a you know as a kid you know it was like whatever get a little chocolate yeah. or there whatever but, but, but now as we're older it's like there's got to be a dinner there's got to be it's got to be something because and then you know if if not, then you're then you're a piece of shit. Fucking wasted you're, it. You're a bad guy. Wasted it. You're a bad guy. Imagine <laughs> when she tells all of her friends, like, oh, yeah, we didn't, you know, we just Netflix and chill. They'll be like, on What's Valentine's Day? I'm just saying. Oh, he doesn't love you. He's a piece of shit. Yeah, because those people that, and guys do that shit, too. Like, man, you, you know, she fucking dress up or do anything like that. You do a little strip tease. You got some, like, lingerie yeah, going on. I'm like, no, we just hung out. We watched Netflix and we got a pizza, actually. We, we chilled a bit. Oh, I guess it's pretty cool. Yeah. Like, they won't say it, but at the same time, it's like, eh. But that s- can happen, but too. Valentine's, like you said, Valentine's Day can be any day you want it to be. You can celebrate this person any day you want it to be. Right. Now, if you want to go along with the pressures of it, now you're getting into the realm of why I think Christmas is bullshit. If you want to go back to that conversation. But real quick, you can't have Christmas, like, whenever you want. Like, it wouldn't make sense. You can't have uh, Sure you could. No. Because it's a major holiday. It's like set in stone, like December 25th at Christmas. You can't you can't have Valentine, uh, February Christmas or April. February 14th is to, Valentine's Day. Yeah, but... but, but the spirit but of the holiday. The spirit you, of you, Valentine's, you could have that in any day. It wouldn't you, be You can't like, have the spirit of Christmas on every day. Okay, let me say this. The spirit of giving. Let me say that. Let, okay, here, here's another example. Okay. Let's just say you couldn't do something on Valentine's Day that day, right? Okay. And you go, we can celebrate Valentine's Day, you know... The next week or something it wouldn't be a bit big of a deal but if you did something like christmas and you're like eh, I, i'm busy can we celebrate christmas like n- you know i feel like the next can. couple th- i, I feel mean like in can. very weird circumstances Dude, i mean it I, creates I'm this the just aura of anxiety that is sometimes almost just all too overwhelming see i feel that for, Val- for everyone i feel that for valentine's day over christmas i feel that for i mean a lot of holidays really i mean they all come with their own expectations of you right. better enjoy yourself you better have pics or it didn't happen you better have some proof that you had a great time yeah oh, here's awesome. After the picture's over just yeah get the fuck off of me you know right who knows what their relationship is yeah who but- knows what's really going on behind louis ck pointed about that where it was like uh two really old people and they've been married you know they had them in the crowd and they're like they've been married for 
50 some odd years and everybody's just like, oh, is it? What did you say? That's automatically just wonderful. <laughs> Isn't that great? That's just the, the length of time. You don't know the quality of it. Right. Just imagine that right. you Every morning he's in there. Yeah. <laughs> Man, if that guy's not drinking, I mean, I, I don't saying. know who it is. And it could be fine, but they were also raised in a time where you did not divorce. You don't do that. Yeah. A lot of them would just fuck around behind each other's backs. Right. But that was not a thing. That's not okay. So, I mean, it's always constantly changing, but... Okay, you need confirmation. As a single guy in 2022, what... Do you feel are some of the differing challenges that it offers? Now? Like when we were in high school, I mean, there still was social media. There's still MySpace and Facebook was emerging. YouTube no, was just kind of yeah. getting started. No, when I was in high school, MySpace was still big. Yeah. Well, no, it was still big. I'm just saying, like, it was big, oh, but just Facebook was getting started. Per- and all production that stuff of Facebook, was yeah. We had social media. There was that aspect of it. It didn't really weigh as heavy as I feel like it does today because I have, you're not on social media. Today. Yeah. Right. And I have heard from some women that, you know, it's almost 50 50, but I feel like it's really 75 25 in favor of a negative result of like he doesn't have social media 25% are probably like Ooh, I kind of like that because right. they have all that extra like they're digging through everything but the 75 I really feel would be like what's he hiding yeah I mean that makes sense like everybody's kind of got that anxious paranoia but it's like are you really going to put that out on, on, on Facebook I mean I guess some people would but like I'm not going to put if if I can't tell you in person, why would I put it up in social media? You, you know what I mean? No, I, like, I get like, your point. Like, but I understand. So I keep in contact with you regularly, right. even though you have no social media. But but that's, that's kind of how I am. Like like if you want a hold of me, just text me. Like right. I don't I don't because like I'm gonna be honest, I don't give a fuck what what you're doing on Tuesday at you know I don't need to see pictures every ten minutes. I don't need to see your quote of the day. <laughs> I don't need to see that shit. Like you know. And it's like, thank you, Confucius. You've touched me. And like, you. just because I work with you doesn't mean we're friends. And like, you know, let's start following each other and all that. Like, I just, I just don't like the concept. Now, I understand it's it plays a huge part in today's role with like marketing and you know oh, shit absolutely. like that. But I'm just, I've never been a fan of that. But I'll tell you what, because speaking of high school, this just this just clicked in my head. Like the very first like Valentine's Day date thing that I did. Okay, so not necessarily freshman year, just like the first time you did. No, like, I had no, like I, no I, you know plan. what? I think it was freshman okay. year to be honest. But you had something special planned. For yeah. Or something. Okay. Yeah. Now I don't. I don't remember if it was Valentine's Day or around there, but I just remember this: is that it was when they were having like the strawberry festival. Okay. And uh, you know, like they were giving like tickets out to like all the you know kids to go whatever and like i you know then like me and this girl who you know we were like high school dating whatever the fuck that is like you know we decided to to, to go Get there whatever off at the movies by your parents and- right so um i got dropped off at her house and her dad was gonna take us up there right so i go there dressed up you know the flowers you know all that bullshit and uh Aww. yeah all that Aww. and then uh so then she went so then she went to like get ready or whatever and then I, I'll, I'll never forget this because this is like the funny shit was her dad then walked me into the garage because we're having like a chit chat and he's showing me all these different tools and stuff that he's going to use if I like I break her daughter's uh. heart if I get her pregnant I'm going to use this whatever and he showed me like 10 tools, like 10 different things he's going to use on me. Real quick, was he Italian? No, they, just, no, no he just, was a good old Florida boy. Okay. Good old Florida, or man, whatever. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. um, and then at the end, he, go, he he just looks at me, he goes, understood? I'm like, yeah, but I got a quick question. I'm like, now you showed all the tools you were going to use on me, but what if she did any of that to me? Is there a tool for that you use? And then he just looked at me and goes, no, my mother would, uh, my mother. <laughs> My daughter would never do that. And I'm like, uh-huh. And then a month later, she ended up cheating she did on me. With just the, like with that. that. Right. There you go. Right. There you go. Right. But but see, back then though, it was just it was oh, like you oh. should have had like a bunch of sex toys in your pocket, be like, now that you show me your arsenal, <laughs> this is what I'm gonna use on her butthole. 
this is what I'm going yeah, to take I mean, her nipples. I mean, but like, like back then, like... It, these uh, clamps? We'll get to these in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> but that's how it was back then. Like, you know, I always had to, like, meet the parents, and it was, like, a big... Oh, sure. I mean, I think it's... Uh, I guess it's still kind of is. It's but, weird. I always clicked better with the parents than I did with their daughters. Dude, right? Dude, the parents would fucking love me, and then, like, you know, a week oh, later... Fuck this, kick her out, man. Yeah, I should live exactly. here. Actually, let's, get my, let's all be, like, one huge family. Just get that one out of here. Yeah, that right. one's trash. Man, but fucking things change. You you know another thing that changed is is and I was talking kind of talking about it with you the other day, was like, like back in high school, you know a lot of these girls they had like a three month rule or like a f- six month rule or whatever like before That's having what? sex. Oh, oh. like <laughs> okay. like like you would have to I mean, like yeah. stay together for like three months. Or you kind of gotta show. Yeah. Right. And but like nowadays if you're not having sex like within the first week it's like it's like man maybe she's not into me or like maybe it's me I don't you know. Lexi and I fucked on the first day. Right? It kind of seems like more normal. And to both do. of us were pretty upfront with each other like right when she got here I was like okay I've had a couple of shots, and I'm working on this beer right now. I just wanted to put that forward, and I'm, like, a little nervous. She's, like, pulled out a bottle from her purse, and she's like, I brought this on the way here because I kind of need a drink, too, because I'm fucking anxious. And we're like, okay, let's just... Do you think, like, it, it, do you think like it makes or breaks a relationship, you think? Like, especially having no. sex on the first night? No. Like, kind of get past that awkward stage, right? Yeah. So you're just kind of like advancing a little well, bit. Through the, the, bullshit. the dice that you roll on that is, like, is this just, like, you know, someone that's either just using it for the moment or whatever. Um, but it is obviously something that both people are probably interested in. Otherwise, they wouldn't be linking up. <laughs> right. They wouldn't be linking up. That's the honest truth. The oh, beauty comes from the inside. So, yeah. But guess what? You find that out later. Because the only reason I walked over and talked to you is because I like what is on the outside. Right. You have to. There that has is to the be truth. Some, I mean, to yeah. some degree, all of us are. Yes, you can find love everywhere and in things that may not be appealing. Some people. Well, what's that kid's name? Zach that we used to work with. Oh, God. That's got all the pets. Salamanders and snakes and right. spiders and bats. And, ooh, and I'm like, it's oh, my God. And he's like, oh, it's so beautiful. And yeah. like, right. You can find that in anything. But the appeal definitely comes from the outside first. Well, yeah. I mean, because you, you have to have some physical attraction. Right. But there are ways of, like, somebody that is, say, like, you know, a six can have a personality that makes him an eight. Right. Or a two that makes his personality a negative five. I mean, it's I'm like just... that old was that old George Carlin joke. I've never had a ten, but I've had five two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's um, it's just it's just weird. Like, just like looking back, and I feel so old. But like, just like how things were back then to like where they are now. Like, and I don't know. I just the like carnations. I said, did your school do that? The carnations, uh, the little flowers. And yeah, the but they used and to stuff, and they would deliver them to different classrooms yeah, but they and would give charge it to the person. You. They would charge you. Of course, you, you had to pay for five it. Five bucks. It's that was like, that was like big, a Valentine's Day. You know, that was big motherfucking money yeah, back then. And they're making bucks. a show of it. They're Holy interrupting shit. the class. To open the door and then walk over to someone's desk and be like, this is for you. Everyone's watching. Right. Everyone, who'd you get it from? God forbid you got it from someone you didn't like. You know, oh, that's just going to be embarrassing. Like, the amount of anxiety and social pressure, like, in those, you know, like, the, the formative years like that. Oh, it really sets the stage, man. Like, sometimes I feel like that way about how I would view a relationship. My parents, there's four kids. My parents have been married for over 30 years. Mm-hmm. They always... I've never seen them yell at each other. I've seen them irritated with each other, especially as I've gotten older. Right. Never screaming, never yelling and raising their voice at each other. Lots of love there between the two of them, and they protect each other no matter what, especially from me when I was in high school because I was an absolute bat out of hell. Yeah. And Nothing's changed. <laughs> They like me a lot more now. Eh. Right. Mm. But they, yeah, they always had each other's backs. And for me, I always saw that and the love between the two of them. So it's, and it's not y'all's fault if you're watching this. It's not their fault that, you know, they click so well and they love each other so much because that's beautiful. It's almost a rarity. 
And but but I took that out into the dating world mm. at, at, as a younger man. You know, like my first high school girlfriend, I was like 16, and I'm on the phone with her and stuff like that. And, you know, you talk from yeah. on the phone for hours. Yeah, yeah I remember that Man, shit. Man, do that shit after 9 o'clock. I got three minutes. Let's go. Like, we got all <laughs> that right. And then it's like getting close to midnight, and my parents are like, like, that's enough. Like, let's go. Right. Get off the phone. And I'm like, all right, I'm getting off the phone, you know. And we're getting off the phone. And how my parents always got off the phone with each other, how I always got off the phone with them and family and stuff like that. It was almost like, because it's a romantic type of feeling with this person when i'm getting off the phone it's like all right i gotta go you know good night i love you oh shit yeah oh shit <laughs> and they would say it back. and i don't know if it's regrettably saying it back because it's weird but imagine that but i'm so sorry too if that's ever <laughs> like the bomb of just like whoa okay right. like bro we went to the movies and then like the mall like, we don't even go to the same school. Right. <laughs> we just said we'd be each other's boyfriend but it, girlfriend. But it was so, it's right. so it much easier It just felt so easy then. to just be like, yeah, I love you. I'm okay. sure there were like, yeah, like like wedding crashes, a class five clinger. Yeah. But I, I, mean, I still am an emotional boy when it comes to that. Yeah, I gave up on, lo on love uh, a while ago. But, uh... It never gives up on I you. think, uh, you know what else is kind of fun? Like, not funny, but, like, crazy to see is, like, how, like... You know, when we were all like younger kids, like we were all pretty much like simps in a way to like get, get, get the, yeah. I mean, we, uh, most guys were, I mean, were most kids that age. Sadly, I still know a couple that do shit like that. There's you know? they, there's uh, they plenty. Hang, there are these guys that are probably like, you know, maybe a four or five. They got the personality of a doorstop and they just, you know, they hang around because they're compliant. They simp. They listen. It's like having another girlfriend. Like, yeah. There's been a couple of times where you and I had seen somebody like that and we confused them for being gay because it just sort of, and right, because it's not uncommon and we're just like, man, he's hanging out with all these girls. Like, I mean, what's he, and yeah, that's us judging someone. Yeah. But then when you come to find out about it, it's they're lingering around in case, you know, like the old saying, a shoulder to cry on is a dick to ride on. So they're hanging around so where they have a moment of weakness they're really drunk they're very emotional something terrible's happened I'm right here yeah well that's like it. I just it's like um, it's those Jonah guys. Hill and Superbad like, right oh I was fucked up I shouldn't have slept with that guy we could be that mistake like they're banking on that <laughs> right so watch out for that well, ladies that's, because they're that, out there that's like that's like you know the whole like friend zone thing like like if you were just in the friend zone, that's right. how you, you know could, this guy you, wants to. You fuck could you. be on standby and wait for your opportunity when she that's breaks up with weird. her boyfriend and stuff. It, it, dude. Let me tell you something. Here, here's what's. And if that's the only thing, it's like, how's my dick taste? You know, like if yeah. you're the guy that if you're girl and that right? happens, just be like, okay, bro. Like, yeah, whatever. I, you know, one thing I I can't get like being friends with your ex. Like I can't figure that out. Cause like some people can though, so I can't. I can't really. Even it's if me. it was it's mutual, me. I can't. Even I just, if it was mutual, even if it is, it's just too. It's awkward because then if you get into another relationship and they are actually your friend, this the new person you might be with could have an issue with that, right? And rightly so, they might not be as comfortable as you feel to be. They don't have that relationship with this person that you did, right. and they also have to be aware that you were intimate with this person at the same time. Yeah, once you get past like that, how are you not going to envision that? Uh, like, okay, let's say you're friends with your ex, you're dating someone new, we're having a barbecue here, and everyone's intermingling, and you and your ex are like, and because you guys know a lot about each other, you know all the ins and right. outs, the little things that make you guys tick, the quirks, and all the stupid things in between, and they are just poking at but it's all in good fun and you're laughing about it you're dishing it back and everyone's <laughs> if i'm your partner and i'm in the corner i'd be like yeah i'm gonna fucking kill both of you i'm gonna kill this one first but you want to take my time like right it's I just, there i just couldn't like, it is doable but not for me i don't man it's to me it's like once you get n not just the sex but like well that but if you just once i say like i love you like, that's hard to, like, then bring it back down to just friends. Right. I was so easy to throw that around as, uh, right. you know, in high school and being younger because I didn't know any better. But now getting older, it's almost like a wave for it, wave for it, wave for it. Well, you got to make them, you got to kind of make them earn, okay, earn, yes. earn it yeah, a little bit. Here we are. Yep, I definitely do. Yeah. Like, 
You're making them earn it a little it's bit. It's not as easy of a feeling to come by. Right. Right. It so it like you know there's meaning behind it and then so it's like for me to like say like oh I love you and all that stuff and then you're like oh let's just be friends I don't know it's it's kind of and then talk to you and, and then you're constantly judging like oh look how she's acting with well, she couldn't act that way towards me or like you know whatever the well fuck. you know what that's, 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 that's not her I, fault for not wanting that's kind of that. why I don't have social media why should she have to shower you if she doesn't want you like that I mean. I'm just saying for fr- in the friend zone. But thing. even if you are in the friend zone, to to sit there and be like, oh, well, I mean, yeah, that that might be a feeling that'll inhabit you, but like to make her feel like she needs to because you have feelings and she doesn't, it's almost a subtle form of rape, in my opinion. Like, like to push that on someone, be like, I don't know. You're going out I, to other girls, if, it, if it's chicks saying it to her, be like, wow, if he's so fucking great, why don't you blow him? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I I couldn't do it, that, and that's kind of why. I, I could. That's that's why. Like, I also don't have like social media. Is like, cause like I I'm not type that's like gonna creep, but just to make sure that. How I'm, are you gonna? Creep no, a creep, but just to make sure I'm still doing better than them. I want to oh. make sure that I'm doing better than them, and then when I see them doing better than me, that's when I start getting pissed off, and then that you know. Then that fuels me to do even better. But that's I mean, kind of that, like my thing. That's, that, that's gonna happen. So you either kind of that's why I get that's why I get rid of it. That's why I get rid of it. So I like because I know because I'm very aware of it, and and yeah, but they, man, they need to bring back MySpace, man. I fucking that was that was the shit back in there the day. There was a meme floating around where it's like, oh man, I wish with Facebook like you could go on and have like a selected song that automatically plays when your page. Well, is they had a top and ten. Someone's they had like, a ten list. You yeah. literally just described MySpace. Like, I know. That's, that's it. And then the cool, oh yeah, the top. Yeah. And then the cool. Knock people then off the, the cool top. back background. Um, oh yeah, you copy and paste this entire yes. almost like the language barrier, like Egyptian hieroglyphics. Oh, and you just paste that yes. on there, and now you got some cool like. Colored background shit, or, or graphics. How's this shit? Almost like Microsoft Word looking shit. Now, is there like, is there like a go to, uh, place or thing you like to do like for Valentine's Day or something? I'm not. I, I'm not trying to have you spoil, well, but well, like. I know, but this Valentine's Day does kind of okay. Last one, she had to work. I right. requested the day off. It didn't dawn on her. She apologized. I said, it's not a big deal. You don't have to work the whole day, and we'll make something of it. So while she was at work, I show up to work with balloons, stuffed animals, flowers, and surprise her, put her on the spotlight. He's the, he's the simp, guys. Do you hear this? Do we, we do you hear this? Oh, my God. Continue. I'm, I'm about to have a nervous breakdown. Oh, and my then, God. And, of course, after she's done with work, then she came over here, cooked her another beautiful homemade meal like you... You know I do. Yeah. This year, I got off for Super Bowl Sunday, Mm -hmm. which is the 13th. Monday is Valentine's Day. I have to work 8 to 5. Her dad's not going to be home. So I'm going to just go over there afterwards because he's going to be in Ohio visiting uh, family and stuff. So I'm just like, all right, well... I'll just go over there. And yeah, she is having that anxiety about it. Like you said, like it needs to be a big... Yeah. We do that all the time. She was kind of being like, I know, but the the time, the quality time... And I was like, what are we doing right now? Yeah, I... What are we doing right now? We're spending time. So let's see, try that- to make it great. Let's make the best of a situation that might not be ideal, might not be perfect in our minds. But... Take it and make it better than what it could be, and you'd be surprised at how often that can happen. And and it, it you know, and it's odd that like she kind of freaks out about Valentine's Day because like I kind of feel like it's like lopsided. Like it's usually the pressures on the dudes, and like the women could give like two fucks. Like I had an like I had I was my ex. Uh, you know, there was a year where she made me like a card. Like she was like in fourth grade, like arts and crafts card, okay. and I <laughs> yes. was. You know, after, you know, I took her out to, like, dinner and, like, you know, I don't know. Like, 
In fourth grade? No, not in fourth grade. I thought you said fourth grade. No, I'm no, sorry. I said she was like making arts and crafts like, a, like, like she, she was, was in fourth, fourth grade. grade. I'm right. sorry. I'm totally, I was miles away. I was, I was just like say, fixated bro, on I was that. I say, I was like, bro, don't put that shit out to on dinner me. in fourth grade? Don't I'm like, damn, bro, you was fucking selling them Snickers bars in school, weren't you? No, no. Dude, they all thought I was a fucking drug dealer back in, in high school, yeah, dude. I look like the white the bill rip- right now, yeah. Bro, this is this is new, man. My, I like it. My aunt gave right it to me. Right when you walked in, I was like, "Bro, I, I like the tie dye on you." I yeah, it's just it's something I really I I would never wear, but like I see like Tim, uh, the tat man, he wears a lot of tie dye shit, and I don't know, it's not too loud, too crazy, and I'm comfortable, so I'm like, "Fuck, dude." Ocean colors, right? So, so she just made you a little card, and you had done. You took out the like, dinner. Like, what else? And like, uh, you know, got her like, uh, you know. Like ju- some like jewelry, like not expensive, but just like a little like like lovey jewelry, like you know, not Walmart brand right. either, but no. and probably still costs like seventy five to one hundred dollars. But I'm just like I don't know, because then because then you're kind of like you know, and it's not all about like what you receive and shit, but I kind of feel like there should be like a matching like level type thing, kind of like. Like with Christmas, like if if I got you a PS Five and then you got me like a Hot Wheels car. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. You know so I kind of per- feel like for Valentine's Day, like, like you know, I don't know. I mean, the perfect trade-off would be like that story, The Gift of the Magi. Are you familiar with that? I have a fucking clue what. It was uh, a, a husband and wife, and he loved his, I'm paraphrasing, I could be. He loved his watch, and she had beautiful, long, flowing hair. Mm-hmm. So he sees this hairbrush while he's out and the price of it is pretty substantial Mm -hmm. it was like some fancy deal but she has beautiful hair and that's what he was thinking about so he sells his watch to buy her this brush meanwhile she went out to buy a chain for his watch because it was you know like an heirloom kind of thing so she is the only movie or a story a story it's almost like a parable Sort okay. of thing. Yeah. yeah, I know what you're talking about. Right. Yeah, I'm sure yeah, there's yeah, been yeah, movies yeah. based on the concept or the idea of it, but yeah. it's just like, okay, well, and then she sells her hair to buy the watch chain. Right. And then yeah. they give each other gifts that neither of them can use, and it was better than anything they've ever gotten. Right. Okay. That's where I'm like, that's it right there. Right. Mm. But Love don't you, it. but, but, but don't you like, could you like? Do you still like self judge a little bit? Like, wow, 100%. I got like I got you I this, and you only gave me this. Hundred like, percent. Like that runs through my mind. Like, yeah, I'm just saying. Like, it and just sex seems like, is not a gift. N- yeah, but they use it, it as a gift. It is a gift, but it's not a gift. Hold on. What if it's a different? Like, give me fifteen minutes in the bathroom. Like, well, we'll see how. Yeah. But hold on. You, okay. I'll but get hold you a on. Gift. What if? What if just for Valentine's Day? That's the only day she'll let you do anal. Like, give you. You know. That's Does not, that would that count as a gift? Because you know, I'm I'm not saying that. I'm using that I as know. an example. Or to like, do something that you freaky usually that never. is only your t- that is a gift. If you are going right. to allow a pass for something that is off limits, whether it's cosplay, whether it's videotaping, you want to make a sex tape, Hell whether yeah. whatever it is, you want to bring toys into the the situation, right. you want to have edible panties and whatever. <laughs> I don't care what it is. Right. I don't care. But if you're going to make that exception for that day, but, you know, that's really not something you like, it is for the other person, then I would consider that a gift. Because mm-hmm. you are giving yourself. Right. In that sense. Do you count, like, lingerie as a gift? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't ask for it. No, but I'm and saying I'm just like, like well, when she comes, and I'm like, mm, okay, oh, so you hey. wouldn't, so you wouldn't gift it, but if she wore it like on her own, that would be. That's usually how it happens. Well, I don't know. I it's, feel like maybe, with her because she's an overthinker. So if I were to gift her lingerie, I feel like she would be like, well, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like right. then the wheels start turning, and then we're off the rails. Right. So it's, I, I leave that decision up to her because even if it's her in sweatpants and and you know a tank top, I'm just like. Hell yeah. Yeah. 
I I see and and that Let's go. like like that long whole laundrette bit that that's another scam in itself the whole Victoria's Secret shit. And oh, all they that. definitely. I mean, yeah, like, but they and, understand that and sex I, sells. Yeah, but like I don't see like for me I don't even care about that shit. I don't care about the lingerie, like the, the costumes and all that shit. None of us really I'm do, good. but when it happens, when it happens, bro, I, it is a little like you can just come straight out the shower. I'm good. Like I don't even. I mean, it is insecure and empty to rush and report to our peers about, bro, let me tell you what happened. But it adds a little zest what, yeah, like, oh, to dude, what this you're doing, right? Where, it I, really does. I will tell you what's hot. Those fucking mid thigh high socks that gets me fucking rolling oh dude. like tube sock yeah. kind of thing i like thigh that, high nylons that gets, i like the classier it's that almost like socks. a pantyhose yeah. just above the knee but it right. like clips up to some kind of apparatus that's uh, wrapped yeah. around the pelvis i don't really yeah. know how they do that i don't know how the fuck they put that shit on too it I don't just know. Seems, seems confusing Cause somehow i can take it off in <laughs> less than a second but it seems to take 20 minutes to put it on whereas i'm like either she's taking a shit or i'm about to get a gift do you remember the first time like trying to like unhook a bra like yeah it was miserable like how like you're like you're like how the, you're like looking on you're like how the fuck does this contraption I mean, crowbar i'm you're looking like, for the combination on it yeah. and then they just get pissed off and then they just take it off themselves it's 32 to the right <laughs> <laughs> or or you just go lazy way and just pop it out of the socket like you know out of the, out of the socket out of the bra you know, it is a socket. Just, just it, it is a socket just shape. I guess we can call it a socket. Pop it out if you can't take Draw it. Sockets. If you can't take it out, just pop them out. Like you know, just be like, "Fuck yeah, I can't get this off any longer." Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. Or you pop it down and then you turn it around backwards. Ooh, that's a. I see. Yeah, I yeah. Because more often than not, once it becomes like that, they go ahead and. Yeah, I'm usually a two hander. I can't do that one hand like. Oh, Loop. Yeah, I, I need two hands. I need two and hands to. And... I don't know. I usually get the hooks, the little hooks in the in the back, and I gotta like. She has well, use, like fish them out. Unless if hooks. there's. And I'll get like the first one, and then I'm like, oh shit! <laughs> yeah. there's another one. Yeah, like I usually have to like use I like two tricked. hands, right? Yeah. But I was just like, I don't know. I, I just know. I never well, never got into that. Last week, her and I. You know, had hung out and you know we had dinner and we were having a good time and we went to go uh, lay down and things were getting hot and as we're sort of in the middle of it, um, I look to my left, like lower left, because I see something in my peripheral and it's Oliver, <laughs> my cat, <laughs> and he's just. Just watching. Staring up at us. Yeah. And I was like, and she starts to notice that I'm looking down off of something. Like, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like looking at both of us. Like he's been fed. We've been giving him tons of attention the entire He loves her too, by the way. Like it just scratches all night. Yeah. Um, so I don't know what he wants. And he's just sitting right there with us. And it's just like, I, I didn't stop. I kept going. It's weird. He didn't, like, at least, you know, jump yeah, up on the bed and kind of, you know. Yeah. Join, try to join. <laughs> hey, tag me in, man. Like, give me a little, like, <laughs> tag me massage in. while I'm doing it. Thank goodness. But, like, I don't know. Has I, Lorenzo ever done anything to you like that? Like. No, because I lock him out. Well, well okay. Well, no. along the lines of just, like, weird things happening, like. No. Like, no. 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 But I will say I I experience like times where like I'm at a girl's house and like her do their their like dog or pet would like watch like be in okay, the room. Okay, so you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I, so just I do, there and, and I'm like... just I, I'm yeah. Like I remember with my ex, so like I would purposely like you know let the, let the dog out of the room and like close the door, even right. though it was just me and her. Out of respect. I, I don't know. I would. F I just feel. Feels like it's animal abuse. It really does. I, like I'm about to commit animal abuse, but it's like that feels like animal. It's just weird. Like I, I don't know. It's just. Yeah. It's almost like you're forcing them to, even though they are. Yeah, I mean, curiosity. I feel like I'm traumatizing the the dog or something. Like. Yeah, but it's a dog. They like they hump an ottoman. Like they'll. Yeah. They hump I, your leg. They. Yeah, but cats don't. So I'm just no. saying. But. He's checking it out. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment, Oliver, while he's licking himself. But you know, but you know what though? I could watch myself in the mirror all fucking day. 
Okay. Like, if you're banging a yeah. chick, and you, there's something to it. There's always, as a matter of fact, it's on the ceiling. On yourself. If it's on the ceiling or the bat or okay, behind yeah. you, you're just like, oh, Just an shit. entire mirrored wall. Oh, I've had chicks with that. I'm just fucking watching myself from behind. And instead of me looking at her, I'm looking at You like the back. American I'm like, psycho? Yeah. Just, I'm like, damn, mm. man, I look pretty good from the back. Like, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying, like, you know, nice. I'm like, shit, man, that's a good fucking view. Oh, would you would you, would you ever do those like fucking videos or something? I would do a video with Lexi if she was comfortable. Yeah. yeah. She'd do a fucking OnlyFans, make some money. I mean it's that's not what like you, we haven't talked about that. I, I actually just, brought up the conversation hey, because we were how many times have money. I brought it up? I'm just saying. I'm, it's like it's, it's not fucking, like you're touching anybody. Yeah, they're gonna be sending you money. Yeah, you're probably gonna get dick pics. It's like whatever that's on you. That's up to you. I'm just putting it all out there. This right. is what to expect. Yeah. But you really don't have to interact as other than putting out content, which can be whatever you're really comfortable with. It could just be you sitting around in, in you know, skimpy clothes. It could just be, you know, you talking to the camera. But then how would you feel if your friends were, like, watching it? Oh, they're looking at her anyway. Let's <laughs> be real. I've told her that shit before. I'm like, you could be in a, a sweatpants and a sweater and Crocs and someone be like, hey, baby, what's good? Like, so, so, what are you going to do? Okay, here's a thought. And it doesn't necessarily... It's annoying, but what are you going to do? doesn't mean like your girlfriend, but just in general. So like if if a girlfriend was like doing an OnlyFans or whatever and like your friends have watched it and stuff, couldn't she theoretically, like if she were to walk around like shirtless or something, it would be fine because they already see her on video anyway and... I guess if like, she wanted a, to stretch I don't know, it that just that like length, popped in my and head. use that as a rationale to walk around shirtless in front of people, that is, first of all, just wanting attention. How about I just come out with no bottoms? If I've seen video of you with no yeah. bottoms, yeah. Okay. Uh, that's, and I just come out and I just fucking... Yeah. But I mean, you usually T-shirt do anyway. on and socks, but yeah. just no pants and no underwear. Do you... It's a good look. You know what? All right. I'm going to tell you something. I'm sock guy when it comes to sex. Like, I leave my socks on. Yeah. I was going to say, yeah, that's yeah. Not where I thought it was headed. Oh, no, on my feet. Like, on my feet. What the fuck? I leave it on my feet. Why? Huh? Why? Because I'm going to be honest, like, after taking, I get kind of lazy. Like, oh, after, I took off so much clothing. Are, I'm on. like, I'm like, f like, just fuck it. Whatever. If I'm wearing anything during sex, it's to kind of enhance the mood. That's how I feel about it. I feel like I get better grip when I have socks on. <laughs> you like, should go to the yeah, get hospital socks that have that extra padding, and you dude, can just. Dude, I'll fucking. You dude, can really dig in there, dude. I'll tell get you the jackhammer going. I'll tell you one thing. I was with this. Uh, I was messing with this chick years ago. And she had Egyptian she cottons. And let me tell you something. That is the worst to have. That is the worst to have sex on. It was like a slip and slide. Yes. I couldn't. I couldn't get a grasp on anything. Like your grandma's like, couch that's just hermetically sealed. Dude, in I film. was. Dude, like when I was baby on, oil on it. Dude, just... I was like slipping. I was pulling hammies and shit. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck, dude? I'm telling. Comfortable, but horrible to have sex on. Hmm. Especially doggy. I was like fucking like le leaning, limping, falling. Well, then you definitely need those hospital socks, especially if it's a. Gypsy I just cotton. I feel I feel like it's just better, like gription. I just feel like you know you gription. like yeah like I just you know because I do you know I get in the shit I do shit uh, I get into English. it and uh, gription. You know you're not gonna go on a run without some running shoes, right? Like depends on what I'm running from. No, like if you're doing like a 5K or something. Oh, well, then like, definitely. You're going to gonna bring running shoes, right? So I feel like if I'm going to, you know, have sex, like I, I want... to bring socks. I need, yeah. So for, Why don't you wear gloves, too? Get better, better uh, gription. I should get some mask, really, and just, uh, you know, really uh, protect myself. So I used to... Here, here, is, here is the thing. I used to say, uh, you know, like condoms were like, you know... Taking a shower with clothes on, <laughs> you know, always like I feel like condoms aren't even a thing anymore. Like I feel like who's using that shit anymore? You know what I mean? That's how I feel about it. <laughs> I don't know. Just a little throwing that out there. If you are going around, you it ah, might be beneficial. It. Ah, fuck it. Uh, nah. <laughs> Roll the dice. Um, do you think like? Do you ever think like what would be like the most 
like thing that's like so overrated for like Valentine's Day that like like for instance like when I think of Valentine's Day and like the the most overrated like gift to get is like fucking flowers like I feel like that's flowers are done to death and uh, chocolate has rich cliche centers but uh, then the teddy then you got the whole teddy bear something and that animal. is personal to them. If you want to do all that extra, if you want to get balloons and you want to do the flowers and you want to do this, I feel like that's so cheesy and basic. It's okay because some people still kind of look for that overall. If you do that or not, have something that is personal to them, whether it's in the card, whether it's, you know, a trinket that is specific to them. Who knows what I've. I know she likes the coloring books when she gets over anxious. Mm. So I bought her like a, an extra thing of like colored pencils. Right. Like a big pack of colored pencils. But if you throw something like that in there, they'll yeah. know why. And that makes it a little bit better than just the typical. With flowers, I always blow girls' mind when I tell them after they run the, uh, they use that, the sunflower, the flower food that comes in with the flowers. Oh, yeah, the you little know, speed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I always tell them to pop to pop a, an aspirin in there after the food's gone because they can live off of whatever the aspirin is. Okay. It it's fucking crazy, but your flowers really? will last two weeks longer with an aspirin. With it, pop one in there. So flowers day. die from headaches. It's not what I'm, I'm saying. I'm learning. I don't know what the fuck's in fake it. Fake news. But <laughs> it's not fake news. It's fucking. Flowers die from headaches. No, they That's fake news. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's most likely because of COVID, yeah. to be honest. Well, I mean, you saying that you don't want to approach, you need confirmation before you want to go ahead and and make a move like that. Kind of. For, for a second. But, okay. then, but then something else slips into my head. I think of like. All the other like drama and bullshit that goes into a relationship, and I'm like, you know what? I don't want to go through that again, so I'm good. Okay. But originally, yes, I do well, need confirmation. Okay, well that's fine, but let's look a little inward for a moment. <laughs> if okay, because you are saying all the bullshit and drama that comes with a relationship yeah. that feels like you're talking about the other person. Do you feel like there is some bullshit that maybe like a toxic trait or some behavior of yours? that you need to be honest with yourself on that might not be something that people look for in a partner. I tell I tell you this, the one thing that I I picked up on my last like my last long-term relationship was like like cleanliness was like for instance like not that she wasn't clean, but like her house wasn't like as clean as like you know your house, like so. You feel like it. So like I would you like would make, be like the, I would the cleaning make, Nazi. No, 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 no. Because like if you go into my room, like it's not like my bed's made like all the time. I mean, if it, I leave the dishes in the sink, you'd be like, "Who the fuck put this here?" No, no. Well, I mean, it was a little bit extreme. It wasn't just like you know, there wasn't like a you know a sink full of dishes. Okay. It was like both sinks and on the counter full of dishes. Nats flying around some dishes. That's a bit strong. Yeah, there. I'm just saying, like okay. You know, willy nilly. I might mention that, yeah. but but to me, like at least for that one, like like cleanliness is what I picked up. Like if I notice, like you know, place isn't like clean or something, I'll make fucking smart ass remarks and shit like that. But yeah, I mean that's I mean tos- <laughs> toxic. What I mean, I'll bust your balls, you know. Okay, so you just yeah, unfilled. bust balls, yeah. balls, yeah. you know. But other than that, uh. I mean, I don't really ask for much, dude. Just like, don't just be, be faithful, trust, and just you know, just let the you know be a team, man. Just like you know, don't be trying to change people. Like, just let you That's do true, you. Yeah. Just let you if do you. Can't you. love the bullshit about somebody. You can't love but, all the wonderful things that come. Yeah, along like with like I hate this like this like this mind. Oh, that could be a project. Like what the fuck. I can fix him. <laughs> No, you can't. You can try, but I, I just say, the ones that say that haven't even fixed themselves. Let's be honest. I would say my toxic trait is like, and I would say it's toxic because it can upset people for a while because it takes time. So unfortunately, Lexi and whoever's with me, whatever. Right now, it's Lexi. 
and hopefully remains to be, but anybody that has been needs to have a level of patience because when I'm upset, I, I, I clam up. Mm -hmm. I don't talk. Yeah. That's how you know I'm at. I'm just, you know, and I, I don't want to talk because I have so many things going through my head right now and so many different ways of analyzing the situation. And like I said, I'm an emotional guy. So the go-to is an explosive reaction, or something that could be hurtful. That's not going to help the situation at all. Both people are going to feel worse for it. And it could ruin everything, too, depending on what goes down. Um, but it does help me work through it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't help the other person, though. Eventually, yeah, there is a resolution, but it's like... like you know, just... so, so you're saying, like, that's your toxic trait is, like, right. your quiet... Just, it's kind of shut down. I mean, that does cut off communication. Yeah. And the other person could be concerned and worried, and they want resolution now. They're ready to talk now. They're ready to go at it. I'm not ready kind of thing. I'm just like... Uh, and then, and then, let they, me think and then about they, it because I feel like I'm gonna like do something that's irrational. And then they think why. it's them. And then they think it's them. Right. And, and it may not just, even be about them. It's just like with work or whatever. It's just a mind. Fuck. And the, the whole thing's a fucking the mind whole fuck. thing's a mind fuck. Society's a mind fuck. Hundred percent. But you know, but you know how I solve all those headaches about Valentine's Day? I don't date anybody. There you go. I don't even have to worry about this shit. You know what I mean? But I'll tell you for any single guys, the worst thing to do on Valentine's Day is to ask someone out on Valentine's Day. Don't ever do that, okay? How would you? Don't, huh? How would you? I don't know. Right? I'm How not saying you? I've done it. It's I'm such just an saying obvious it's like... play that it's like, you know, what? <laughs> Speaking of which, I did tell you because I thought it would be fun for you and I to separately look up probably the worst ways to pick up a woman, the worst pickup lines that we could think of and or find and write them down. But do you, well, hold on, before we do, do you think that as cheesy and stupid the pickup lines are, they would work because it's unique and they haven't heard it? It depends on if it's right? unique and they haven't heard it. If it makes them laugh and they got a good sense of humor, it could land you. It was that Bruce Campbell, who was in Army of Darkness and Evil Dead. He had the, the chainsaw arm. Yeah. In Army of Darkness, there is a line where he says, give me some sugar, baby. And he you know, makes out with the princess or whatever. Oh. In, in uh, an, um, Ask Me Anything interview, uh, he did say that there was a guy, an American guy, that went to Japan and translated, give me some sugar, baby, to some chick and used it as a pickup line. And it got him late that night. It can happen. As bad as that is, it can happen. I had a guy at my last store, okay? he All he would do is spend the time like trying to pick up chicks, right? He picked up this one girl by going, hey, and then did that. Winked at her, got her number. This dude look like Leo That's DiCaprio? It. No, I mean, I, look, I'm, I'm not He's gay, gotta be but I say he, he wasn't right. bad. There it is, no, though. No, he wasn't is. bad, but I he know, wasn't like... I know. But like, if I'm sitting on a bus and it's like some kind of, someone I'm not attracted to and they're like smiling I, at me. Obviously, like, you oh, have to be Jesus. attracted. But like, you if it's a, someone you're attracted to, you're like... But we ended up we ended up making a basket for him so just girls can like leave their numbers on the counter for him. Fuck. Yeah. No, dude. They, so I'll tell you, he was in Safe Food one time and they had a, um, a fishing pole, but it was a lighter, but it was still, a, it looked right. like a fishing pole. So he would walk around and you can actually All like right. wheel it and he'd walk around and act like he was casting and like he'd find a girl that he likes and like wheel in and he'd be like, you know, you're the, you're the finest catch of the day catch or the like, day. Right, or like some so catchy bad. shit, like so some bad. like little shit like that. But guess what? It would work. Some he'd split get tail tuna. He would fucking get numbers. Dude, that shit was crazy. Shit was crazy. and sinker. Right. But I, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know, but I mean, if you got some, dude, I, oh, you I know, cause, cause I, I, I'm going to need some tips, man. It's, it's a little hard out here. <laughs> Holy shit. You got a lot. If you were a triangle, you'd be a cute one. A triangle and a cute. Oh, and a cute triangle. Okay, I got you. All right, sorry. I had You're to, obtuse. I had to th I had to think. I was thinking square. I don't know why. When hey, I heard girl? A cute. Are you a beaver? Cuz damn. Nah, that's nah, that's yeah. stupid. That's stupid. Are you an orphanage? Cuz I want to give you kids. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> but I think I think I think that's if you, Nick Cannon's pickup line. I think if you say that, that's Philip Rivers' pickup line. I think that's a Me Too movement waiting to happen yeah, right there be. for you. Is that wow? I did this to Lexi the other night. Nice ass. I bet it farts so hard. I don't know. That's right. kind of, that's she, came kind of, in. she came in and she was like, I said that and she's like, oh. And then I said, I bet it farts so hard. And she was like, fuck, what's wrong with you, bro? Spe- speaking of farts, dude, that's, that's how you know that you're like, that it's serious. Like oh, a I serious one relationship. Of, yeah. Like if you can fart rip ass like, in front quick. of the other. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and it's like, it makes them funny. Yeah. Like they're like laughing or whatever. Like that's how you know it's a real relationship. Sometimes if you can't fart in front of your farting. significant other, uh, I don't know. You, you are anyway. Like so, let's, yeah. You're <laughs> hoping that if it's silent, it doesn't sting. Right. Are you a banana? Because you're very appealing. No, no, I, yeah, I just, I don't know. I'm just not, I'm not feeling it. If I flip this coin, what are the chances of me getting head? <laughs> <laughs> I'd say about 50 50. <laughs> Do you like Star Wars? Because Yoda only won for me. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Not okay. bad. Yeah. You like to draw? Because I put the D in raw. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet you forty dollars you'll turn me down. I like that one. I like that one. Either way, you win. I'm gonna be losing a lot of money. Forty bucks, <laughs> or you. She doesn't turn you down. I don't That's know. not that bad. I, feel, not like, that I bad. feel like the hardest place is like at work. Is like because I always feel like well, yeah, an, H- work an HR and yeah, HR exactly. complaints coming right around That's the corner. The same concept I had in my brain when people were trying to push me onto Alexis. I was like... Even a compliment, you're like, shit, dude. I, I might see an HR come across. Comfortable. Mate, get HR emailing me. <laughs> I'll get one for this one. Are you in the military? Because you've got my private standing at attention. No. no. <laughs> or you could be like, I want to serve you or something. I don't know. <laughs> I want to run to the, to your front lines or something. I don't know. The only reason I'd kick you out of bed is to fuck you on the floor. Dude, that's another thing I have trouble with. That is flattering. Hold on, there's another... Ah, hold on, since you Socks said that... Socks on the floor? That ain't helping you? Hold on, I... I you need knee pads, huh? I need a helmet. Hey! My fucking, dude, I... I don't... A bucket and a I mop. hate fucking cuddling, dude. I get hot. I, they, they, I get too hot and uncomfortable. I'm just saying, it's just too, it's too, un- like, I just want my own fucking area. Damn, bro. I'm just saying. Do dude. you want your own area while you're in the act? Yes. <laughs> okay. Preferably, yes. Well, all right. I, I, yeah, I appreciate your consistency. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I, that's pretty much all I got there. For there your- was one I remembered in, uh, it was in my high school yearbook. I don't remember the kid that wrote it because they were asking, like, best pickup lines kind of thing. And this one was pretty cheesy. It was, uh, it was more of a sentence than it is a pickup line. It said, so last night, I was looking up the stars, and I was giving each star a reason for why I loved you. I was doing all right, but then I ran out of stars. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Don't ask me about uh, how much a polar bear weighs, because everyone's heard that <laughs> shit. But if you haven't heard that one, you know, I wish I could remember that kid's name. You know what else I missed, dude? You know what else is is missed? Fucking love notes. Like, remember, like in oh, middle school, or high school. Get, yeah, she, Lexi leaves me love notes on on all my little uh, my notepads. Like if she's here in the morning and I gotta go to work, and she lets herself out and locks up. She leaves me a note, and I come home to notes. I have a whole bunch. I'm not going to lie to you. Sometimes I'll see notes under my car windshield, and for a split second, I get excited. I'm like, it's oh, crunch shit. crunch fitness or some shit. Uh, no, it's just about some other dudes that are like, they, they like my car, and they want, uh, <laughs> you know, it's usually car shit. It has nothing to do with nice females car, whatsoever. Yeah, hog. Yeah, exactly. So, But since you gave me a heads up, I did write a couple. Right, work your magic on me. This one actually is my go-to right okay. here. If, like, I really really had to be honest like this is what i would do uh i'm gonna play hard again does your feet hurt 
It's been walking in my mind. All you've been day. running through my mind all day. I'm just you know, if you're gonna say it, say it right. Oh. <laughs> Um, I ought to complain to Spotify for you not being named this week's hottest single. <laughs> right? <laughs> You're like a fine wine. The more of you I drink and the better I feel. I thought you were going to say you're getting better with age. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> um, you know what you would look really uh Beautiful in nothing. My arms. Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. That was right? sweet. I went there. Right. Okay, my mind's in the gutter. I'm sorry. Right. Bro. Maybe I should. Maybe that should be my go-to. It's pretty nice. Yeah. On a scale of one to America, how free are you tonight? <laughs> <laughs> Watch her do like an eagle call, like right after. This. Right. Oh man. So you're not so 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 pretty much you're not doing anything. Spe- not that we're not doing anything special. But you just don't want to. Go, yeah, cook dinner okay, for her in okay. Camden and okay. And but we're all gonna there spend is the no. With each other there's no like tradition or anything. It's just like whatever. No, but I mean, obviously we're gonna get each other things, but like right. yeah, we spoil each other in different ways on a regular basis. So it is a, a you know, a a marker, a landmark, hallmark holiday. Right. You know, yeah, but we're we you know, it's still nice. Reason to do something. We can't go out. Usually it's because I cook all the time at home and she loves my cooking as as you do. Yeah. So it's why we keep usually, you around. like the anniversary, that's an, a reason to go out. Let's do something that let's let's get food that someone else cooked and let's just sit here and have some cocktails before it comes and not have to do any work. Like that's our treat. Um Do you still do uh like Get like Valentine's Day stuff for your mom or anything like that, because I know that's still a thing. She might give me one, but she should know that I don't like sweets. It's usually chocolate. Well, no, but like that. at least a card or something. I don't know. No. Like just shoot no, no. no. Okay. I, I mean, I still do. I mean, I still get my mom a card, and you know whatever. I don't know. Real quick though, let me just put a couple of things past you. First of all, tits or ass. 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 Okay. So, if it's ass, I want you to ruin one movie title by replacing a word in the movie title with the word ass. Think about that for a moment. Oh, what the fuck? What? Think about that for a moment. A movie? And don't pick Titanic where you could just be like, ass, but I picked Titanic. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. One word movie. No. To where you have to, like instead of the green mile, the green ass. Ruin a movie title for me. And you at home. Ruin a movie title for it. Put it in the comments. Ruin a movie title for us by replacing one word with the word ass. I want to see what we come up with. What is one non-sexual thing that turns you on? We're going to circle back to this. <laughs> Replace ghosts and ghostbusters. The ass busters. Ass busters. But is that considered one word, though? Ghostbusters. Well, uh, I because mean, there is speculation around that because apparently there was some copyright information about some weird old, like, 60s or 70s show that was the Ghostbusters, so they were going to have to call it Ghost Beaters, which would have been <laughs> fucking <laughs> weird. <laughs> Jeremy knows what I'm talking about. Yeah. Matthew probably knows yeah, what I'm talking dude. about, too. They were going to have yeah. to call it Ghost Beaters. They, were, they, they ironed everything out to where they could get the rights to call it Ghostbusters. You can replace the Matrix, the ass. The ass. No! <laughs> Get creative. Step brothers replace the step ass brothers. The ass brothers. Okay, now we're talking. <laughs> now we're talking. Now we're talking. Um, replace knights and Talladega knights. Talladega ass. <laughs> Get some ideas. Put them in the comments. Ass busters. Great. Good choice. I, I was not expecting yeah. that. That's good though. But what is one non-sexual thing that turns you on from a partner? Like, oh shit. Right. It's non-sexual. What what about that like is really attractive to you? Oh, about a woman? Oh shit! About a partner? It could be about (laughs) anyone. A woman non-sexual? Wow. Yeah, it's Uh, a non-sexual thing, but it turns you like a trait. Like for me with Alexis, when she tells me a story about how she like stood up to someone at work or stood up for herself because she can be so timid, and she's just like, "This happened today," and I was like, "What? What did you do?" And she was like, "I put my foot," and I'm like. Yeah. I'm gonna get you right now. Like there's nothing sexual about that, but like I'm so happy for her and proud of it that it's just exhilarating. 
I think if I really had to it think, of, running hot. if I really had to think about it, I I, th- it would be like a, a hustle, like you know, I would a woman's hustle, a hard worker, a hard worker. yeah, yeah, that, done, done that her gets shit, me, fucking, yeah, like that gets me kind of hot, and all. yeah, that oh, gets yeah. me kind of, all right, hot. yeah, no, that's good, you know what I mean, I like that, yeah, and gentlemen out there, consider it, consider it. I mean, a lot of people do uh, look past that. Like, with Alexis, she is not used to someone being as understanding as I am. Mm. But for me, what she failed to realize was I'm not used to someone being so appreciative as yeah, she is. Yeah, that's a big About one. every, it could be the smallest thing that I don't think is a big deal. And she is just thanking me profusely for it. And I'm like, right. What you think was gonna happen? Of course, I'm gonna do that for you. Yeah, like, dude, it's crazy to think like what some of these like, especially women like the men that they date. Like for instance, like I took a girl out like months ago, and um, I Is that helped, the one you went to Fort Desoto. Yeah. Wait, okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I opened the car door for her and she almost had like a breakdown. <laughs> she thought that was like the nicest thing like she's ever seen in her life. And I'm like, uh, and like to me, that's just how I was brought, that's how I was like brought up. Like, I, like that's what I do. Like I, you know, I don't know. But I mean, that wasn't the first time. Most of the women I've dated, they've always like, if I hold the car, the car door open for them, they have like a meltdown. Because they're like, it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. And I'm like, what, what the fuck? Ha-? You know. But then it's also like, uh, you know, I kind of like it because it's like low expectations. So it's like I just try a little bit. Like I don't have to try too hard. It's your date, man. But, you know. Uh, how about some McDonald's? We get food, too? Oh, God. <laughs> no, hold on. I mean, I'm not going that. Ch- I mean, you know, I'm, if I'm going to eat, I'm going out. Like, I know. I'm, I'm not, just saying. I'm like, if the bar's that low, low, I'm just saying. It's just, it's just a couple of bucks. It's fucking crazy. And then it gives, like, good guys, like, a fucking bad rap a little bit. Because they're, sure. you know. But, yeah. I, I mean, just... I get it from the way my father treats my mother. When... Because, you know, Matt and Ryan, both my brothers, 10-year difference between me and Matthew, 12 years between me and Ryan. So And I was, Ryan's cooler. Right, and uh, I was Sorry. 10 when my mom was pregnant with Matthew. And my dad asked me to make sure that every day I ask my mom, what is one thing you need to get done today that you don't feel like doing? Mm. Because he understands all the changes and hormones and and feelings and emotions that that are going along with the pregnancy and the trouble that she's going to have with her own anxiety and trying to run a household. So I would do, but like I get what you mean. Like that's how I was raised. Even though my dad, he's a Fox News dad. Let's be honest. Right. He's a Fox News dad. He's a very conservative guy. He and I have disagreed on plenty. But one thing we can agree on is you cross this woman. You're fucked. Like, I used to try and do that, you know, when I was in high school. I was causing trouble on a bunch of crazy drugs, doing all kinds of wild shit, getting arrested. And, yeah, he had he had, had enough. My mom would walk through fire to save me from anything. But he knew that. So it's like she's going to destroy herself to save someone that's trying to destroy her. Mm. And he pulled her away from, like, just the level of respect I have for him looking back on it now. It's just like, dude, this guy, I mean, that's a man. Yeah. That's a man. Yeah, that's there, not just not, like there's not many these of fucking pickup lines. Yeah, and, <laughs> and not even just holding doors for people. But those are just the minimal somewhat expectations of uh, etiquette, courtesy. And a lot of it goes out the window. I mean, there's memes floating around, uh, you know, poking fun at it where it's uh, a chick's tweet where it's like, do guys even hold doors for girls anymore? And the response is, well, yeah, how else am I supposed to get in that bitch? Like, (laughs) it is funny. (laughs) Right. But there's truth and sarcasm. Yeah. Hold the door for yourself. Mm. I'll make my own sandwich. I've had that outlook, too. Let's be real. I'll make my own sandwich. You hold the door with your, you know, because of people I've been with in the past. Mm-hmm. You want to fucking beat your chest about being all okay. Well, right. go be all the woman you can be. I'll still support you, but don't make someone feel less of what they are. Right. In your uh, mission to become what you want to be. But it's it's hard to like when shit happens like in the past, 
like to not carry that on to the like to the future sort of thing like you know what i mean like if you've been like for instance for me like i've been in so many bad relationships that like even if i do try to like get into one i'm thinking like i'm thinking oh here here here, here we go again like even if it doesn't even turn out that way it's just that's just how i like i process it because especially with my last one like like you know i try to be all like all hard and tough and shit i i do you know get you know weak and shit like that and I, I got soft, i got yeah. love story a little bit and i got love story too much that it you know turned around and bit me in the ass but you know it's just you know shit happens but you know that's why I don't like Valentine's Day. Just well, like, Alexis and I was kind of like rescue animals. <laughs> but two, two different types of rescue animals. Right. I'm the rescue animal that's ready to just attack. You know? Rah, rah, defense. Def- you know, put it up, put it up, put it up. She's the one that's been fucking, you know, that's shaking in the corner and is scared of everything around her. And, uh, you know, we did have to, to iron that shit out. We had, it took time, but yeah, you, yeah. There were definite moments. Last Valentine's Day, speaking of the flowers and everything that I got, and her and I got into a, an argument later that week that ended up becoming one of those knockdown, drag out, end of the relationship potentially type of fights. Mm. I told her to leave. I took the flowers, threw them in the dumpster, in the trash, right? I'm all fucking, you know. Firing on all cylinders, I'm hot as hell, and I get back, and it settles within 10 minutes. And I get that feeling in the pit of my stomach of, the fuck did I just do? <laughs> and I call her up, and she had stopped at the local Applebee's right here. She got herself a drink. She didn't even go that far. <laughs> she felt the same way. They're like, what the fuck is going on kind of thing. And then it dawned on me, and I called her right back. Lord, please come back. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It went down. And you know what? Even throwing out those roses and apologizing for all that bullshit, she reaches into her purse. She pulls out a rose. Oh, shit. She got one. She, oh, shit. She took one before she left, feeling and ultimately kind of feels like she knew I was going to do that. Mm. Okay. It's kind of wild, man. Like, yeah, it did take some time out. You know, to, to so I guess I guess what you're telling me is at the end of the day there is still love out there. Of love course. does exist. Yeah, I I don't know. I'm and, pretty, and you're I'm absolutely pretty correct in that it though. needs to be a team. It, it should it should it should be. And not every day can be like Valentine's Day because not every day is going to but, approach you with the same challenges as days. Before. Well, just see, pre- you could have something I, horrible happen on that day. That doesn't mean that day is horrible. But again, and I'm not saying like. You know, with like the flowers and candies and just the core value of Valentine's Day, appreciation of your love. Like, that's what I was meaning. Not so much, oh, every single day you got to get this and do that. I always feel like they put it on that day because they know Super Bowls. I mean, the Super Bowls the day before. Well, this is the first She's time. She's going to treat you. But here. that's the first I time. I know, but it's usually the week before kind of thing. It's yeah. like Super Bowl and Valentine's Day are right there kind of yeah. thing. So it's like, here's something for the fellas, here's something for the ladies kind of deal. Yeah. That's how I've always ultimately looked at it. But right. I get what you mean by the whole Hallmark ho- holiday and that it's, you know, it's, a it's bit always a bit yeah. yeah. I get that. Yeah. For, I mean, you know, from a single guy's perspective, especially going through, you know, some of the, the, the stuff you've had. But even when I was in a relationship, like, it, you know, like, as I got older, like, it was still, like, a big, like, oh, man, I can't fuck up because I got to I gotta do something. Like. I couldn't afford anything for her anniversary, so I got you this box. That's what I got you. <laughs> Fucking cheesy. Well, you, uh, you know, well, you spread have... the love, like he had said in the last episode. Spread the love, man. Even if you ain't feeling it, will you're gonna get a nice dinner made for you? We're having our our bro day, like how you said. Uh, it's weird not talking throughout the week, but then we always have a scheduled bro day, and yeah, there's a lot of love there too. We yeah. don't have to celebrate it on Valentine's Day. That's true. <laughs> Fuck Valentine's Day. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. Well, hey, listen. You have fun. Watch you know, on your Valentine's Day. Yeah. Day, whatever. Have a great Valentine's Day. If you're with somebody, if you're not, don't shit all over someone else's happiness, please. Just keep it to yourself. Stay inside. Or post it on Twitter. Whatever. Doesn't, you know, doesn't matter. Whatever. And please, please give us some love. 
Oh, yeah, if you want to show sub. us some love, yeah. Please. Hit that subscribe button. Please. We don't want to lie. Just a sub. Some just love. subs. Come on. Just one. Just <laughs> one. Please. For me. Go for a sub. For me. Subs are good. Fuck yeah. All right. Have a good night, guys. See you, fellas.